Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Omega Speedmaster Professional Moon Phase Chronograph in Stainless Steel. You can see this unique Moon Phase Speedmaster Professional on our website, WatchYouWant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this video at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional high res images, accessories included, and of course, complete pricing information. Now, on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This watch really wears identical to the classical asymmetric case 42 millimeter Speedmaster Professional. All of the changes are within the case, not without, which means that 42 millimeters across the round of the case and with a sapphire crystal actually a little slimmer than its Moonwatch counterpart, this watch measures approximately 13.5 millimeters from the very top of the crystal to the back of the case. Now there are two ways to measure the lug to lug span. There's the traditional way from the extremities of the lugs, in which case you're going to get a measurement of 48 millimeters. And then there's from the extremities that project outward most, the solid pieces of the end links themselves. And when you take those into account, this side and its opposite number, you get a lug to lug span that's actually a fairly robust and very contemporary 53 millimeters. So while it may have the case DNA of the moon watch, it wears the part of a contemporary sports watch. Now the watch is fairly light on the wrist. The moon watch is never an overbearing piece. Here paired with a reference 1998 bracelet and twin trigger deployment clasp with 849 end pieces. It's beautifully finished and has an upscale look for a watch rooted in true utility applications. You can see alternately brushed and polished sections of the three link. You can also see how the flanks are high polished. So there's nice differentiation of the metallic finish here that sets the watch apart and allows it to wear well with formal attire, even though again, this watch is related to one designed to be used with a space suit. Now the clasp is of exceptional quality, single fold deployant, engraved, beautifully finished with a satin exterior. It does require positive release, twin triggers, so this one's not popping open accidentally. And it's related to the same family of 1990s milled out Omega clasps, generally considered to be the ones that forced Rolex to reconsider its clasp quality. Now I should mention that the watch has a dial that is distinctly deviant from the traditional moon watch, but very beautifully balanced and upscale. Now here's where it really differs from the traditional Speedmaster Professional. First you can see there is a domed sapphire on here, not acrylic as with the moon watch. You can also see that each one of the sub-registers, even the ones that are standard equipment on a moon watch, rather than having a crimped flange, each one has a beautiful polished chapter ring. Upscale is the word. You can even see Speedmaster Professional flanking the hour counter at 6 o'clock. Now at 12 o'clock, another great departure, not just a moon phase, which you can see, but also a date indicator. So the complication is twofold, the date and the moon phase. Some folks are surprised upon encountering this watch for the first time to see that it does include a date, and it does include case side pushers to correct both complication displays. It's a beautifully balanced watch that might be considered the most romantic of Speedmaster Professional because first of all you have the romance of the story of the moon watch the Apollo missions Skylab Soyuz and the collaborations with the Soviets, the International Space Station, trips to Mir, and of course the modern age. So you have that romance of space travel history, but you also have the moon phase considered to be the most romantic of complications and most apropos. If you're going to have just one complication on a Speedmaster Professional, it should be a moon phase. Now, the watch is not just attractive on the dial side, but also on the case back. Here we see another significant departure from the typical moon watch. Now this is the caliber 1866. Let me get it to good advantage in the light. 1866, 18 jewels with a date, with a moon face. It does feature 18 jewels, as does the standard watch. Everything that's not part of the base movement runs on bushings. 48 hour power reserve, ticks away at the standard 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is a cam and horizontal clutch chronograph, very traditional and related to the movement that was chosen, not because it was fine, not because it was beautiful, but because it was almost unbreakable in NASA tests. All of the pedigree of the base Lamagna caliber, the famed engine of the moon watch, is here, albeit with the additional refinements of the date and the moon phase. And as with the standard moon watch, it is water resistant to five atmospheres, so five ATM. Principally consider this one splash and rain exposure only. But a very handsome watch, a little bit slimmer than the acrylic 
crystal moon watch, it slips under a dress cuff even more easily. And with a combination of a white metal case, a white metal bracelet, and a beautiful black tachymetric scale and dial, this one will wear well in casual or the most formal of occasions. So whether you're an astronaut or merely an astronaut wannabe, armchair aviators everywhere can appreciate this Omega Speedmaster Professional Moon Phase Chronograph, available on our website, watchyouwant.com.